Well hello internet and welcome to part one of my Samsung Mobile SDK tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you all of the tools you're going to need as well as provide real code and an introduction to the S Pen class and how you can use it. In this tutorial I'm going to be using the brand new Google Android development tools and in a previous tutorial I showed you how to set those up as well as how to install the Samsung Mobile SDK plugin. And I provide a link to that in the upper right hand corner if you haven't seen it you definitely should watch that first. And if it's still November 2013, you have an opportunity to win a brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 or one of three Samsung Galaxy Gear watches. And this is brought to you by the Samsung Smart App Challenge for 2013 that is still going on and they are giving away 1.1 million dollars. But I am giving away three devices that you have a very, very good chance of winning. All you're going to need to do to get in the running is go to developer.samsung.com forward slash sign up, sign up for a free Samsung developer account, and then go to my website, which will pop up right below here, newthinktank.com and then tell me you signed up for a developer's account and you're in the running to win. Now, I'm gonna show you how to set everything up. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is go to samsung.com forward slash us forward slash k-i-e-s. And to set up your device and test your application, you're going to either need to download this software for Windows or for Mac. Quite simple installation process, no real reason for me to go into it any further than that. Then what you're going to want to do is open up your device, which you can see an example of right here on your screen. And you're going to, of course, have to enable the developer options for your device. To do that, if you do not see developer options like I have right here, you're going to have to click on About Device, open that up, scroll way, way, way far to the bottom, and you're going to want to put your finger on the build number and hold it down like this. Whenever you do that, eventually you're going to get a message. I already have the developer tools option set up, but in this situation it's going to say developer mode has already been turned on. In your situation, if it hasn't been turned on, turn it on. There you go. Now you're all set. Now what you're going to need to do is go into developer options like you see right there, click on it, and then you're going to have to just put a check mark in USB debugging, which you can see right there. I have a check mark right here. Now your device is perfectly ready to start installing apps and testing them. So let's take a look at exactly what app we're going to be developing here. The guys at Samsung thought if I'm doing an introductory video, I should use the introductory code that is provided. And it makes total sense. I mean, this SDK is so new, it's very important to get very comfortable with it up front. So what we're going to be doing is just going line by line through the Hello Pen introductory video. However, there's one more thing you're going to need to do to be able to execute it. And you're going to find that out just by clicking on Hello Pen on your device. It's going to say you need to upgrade or install the mobile SDK application. So just hit OK. That's all you need to do. The Play Store is going to open up and you're going to see S Pen SDK. You just want to hit install and then hit accept. And everything is going to install for you here super, super quick. And it's been installed. Now what we're going to do is back out of this. Go back to the S Pen program guide, hit Hello Pen, and there you can see it's on the screen. And basically, what we're going to do in this tutorial is cover exactly how you're going to be able, with the S Pen, be able to go in and be able to accept a person drawing on the screen. So, a whole bunch of things, but really if we take them step by step, it's quite a simple process. So let's go and take a look at that code. Okay, so to create an application that's going to allow you to draw on your screen, you would think that maybe that was really complicated, but actually it isn't because of the SDK we're going to be using. Basically all you need to do is have the activity that uses the layout that is defined, as you do right here. All that you need to do is create your activity, which in this situation is the pen sample one one hello pen activity and then define your layout which in this situation is activity hello pen dot xml and then of course we're going to make a reference to the relative layout itself which has the id s pen view layout then to that we're going to add the s pen surface view and basically what it's going to do is allow us to draw either with the s pen or a finger or what have you and then finally to that we're going to add the s pen note doc which is going to allow us to add and remove pages and then of course we're going to add a page which in this situation 
is going to be of the type S Pen Page Dock, and the S Pen Page Dock is basically going to hold our layers and our objects and also any other imported information or images that are imported into our page. So basically, all we need to do is create that inside of code, and you're going to see it is actually quite easy. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here we are inside of Eclipse, and here we have pen sample one hello pen.java and activity hello pen.xml. Let's just take a look at the layout first. Quite simple, just a relative layout, and it has the ID that I mentioned before, which is S Pen View Layout. Everything else here is quite simple. So let's bounce back over into hello pen.java, and I'll go through exactly what we need to import here. Now, since we're going to be using the Samsung SDK, everything is going to start off with that. And you're going to see that most of this code that I'm going to be writing is actually going to handle what exactly are we going to do whenever they use the wrong type of device or they don't have an S Pen or something like that. And this exception right here is going to handle those situations for us. Of course, we're going to have to write some code to basically decide how the dialog box is going to show up and so forth and so on and what we're going to do if an error occurs. Then we're going to need a way to initialize and verify that the S Pen is available. And the library for that is just going to be pen S Pen, right like that. And all the functions we're going to need to carry out that initialization is going to be available from that library. Then we're going to need a way to manage what are called SPD files or S Pen data files. And like I mentioned before, the S Pen note docs are going to hold all of our S Pen page documents. So in this situation, I'm going to go pen dot and document, which is what we're going to be using, and S Pen note doc. And like I said before, those are going to hold all of our pages. So guess what we're going to need now? We're going to need pen dot document dot S Pen page doc. And like I mentioned before, our pages are going to allow us to add, delete, retrieve, change layers, objects, and also provide for changing of uh, general settings inside of our page documents. And that basically just leaves us with the need for surface view. That is going to be in pen.engine.spen surface view. And like I said before, this is going to provide the capability to either draw with the S Pen or draw with your finger. And then this final guy is just going to provide us with reference to our R file because all of this is actually, all these examples that I'm going through here are actually packaged together inside of one great big giant example program as you saw previously in the tutorial. And now that we have that all set up on create is here just like it is for all the activities that we're going to create inside of Android. And then we're basically going to have to define a couple different objects inside of here. One of them because we are going to be doing systems level operations we're going to need to create a context. And I get questions about context all the time so I'm basically just going to go over almost everything a context is used for. Basically, a context provides access to application resources, launch activities. It also allows for the receiving of intents, managing sounds, Bluetooth management, modifying the clipboard. Yes, I'm going to cover everything. It's going to handle requests in regards to downloads, interacting with input methods. It's going to retrieve a layout inflator if we need to inflate an interface or inflate a component. It's going to handle file creation and retrieving of the NFC manager. NFC, of course, stands for Near Field Communications, which I'm going to get into later in later tutorials. Also provides access to the MSD manager for network service discovery, the search manager, the sensor manager, the storage manager. Yes, I'm covering everything, by the way. The telephony manager, text services manager, USB manager, vibration, Wi-Fi in regards to peer-to-peer Wi-Fi, as well as the Wi-Fi manager, and the window manager. Okay, so basically the context is an all-powerful object that allows us to get access to most anything. So that, I hope, puts it into perspective and wasn't too much information. Just remember, it's all powerful. It allows you to pretty much do anything you'd like to do in regards to all those things I just mentioned. Then, of course, we're going to need our note doc, which we've talked about here, and I'm just going to call that note doc. And then, since we have the note doc that holds all the pages, of course, we're also going to need our page doc, and there it is. And then finally, we're going to need our surface view. And that's just S Pen Surface View. 
which again allows us to use either the S Pen or our finger to draw things and to do other things as we're going to say later on in the tutorial. And there we go. Now we're going to go down into on create and of course this guy is just going to define the layout we're using which is activity hello pen.xml which I showed you a second ago which is a relative layout. Then since this is the main activity we have here we can go and get our context by just assigning this to it. Then one of the things I said previously we're going to spend a lot of time in this code doing is verifying that the device works and we're able to use the S Pen. So we're going to have a boolean inside of here. Call it is S Pen feature enabled and we're going to set it as false by default. We're going to assume that things are going to go wrong. Then we need to create our S Pen object of course. S Pen package is equal to new S Pen. And then what we need to do is try to initialize the S Pen and if it doesn't exist trigger an exception which we referenced previously and then handle what's going to happen when that exception is triggered. So of course we're going to be throwing this inside of a try block and we're going to try to initialize our S Pen by calling S Pen package dot initialize and then pass this which is our all powerful context. Then we're going to say is the S Pen available for use? Well we're going to assign this to is S Pen feature enabled and to find out if it is or not we're going to go S Pen package and call is feature enabled and pass in specifically s pen dot device pen which is what we are checking for so pretty simple we're just saying hey can we initialize this guy is it enabled and then what we're going to do is go catch and what are we going to catch we're going to catch this exception up here SSD unsupported exception which basically means we don't have a device that works or we cannot use the S Pen for some reason or another. Give this the name of E and then inside of here we're going to say if process unsupported exception E is equal to true and we're going to have to create this function down below here in a second but if that is true then we're just going to return. I'd like to also throw in another catch block which is just a general exception and in this situation we're not going to be able to initialize our S Pen so what we're going to use is a toast which is going to provide us with the option to put a little message that opens in a little gray box if you've used an Android application I'm sure you've seen them and basically to make a little toast pop up on the screen we need to pass it the context as well as the message and also how long we want the little message to appear on our screen and to make it we just go toast whoops spell toast right make text pass it the context which is m context and then the message we want to display so cannot initialize s pen and then we have to say how long do we want this to remain on the screen and one of the defaults is toast length short and then if we want the toast to appear we just go show right at the end of that and there we go now we got ourselves a little message and get rid of this last little bracket there and now we're set then if that appears want to print out a little message here so print stack trace change this to e1 and then finally to drop the activity out of memory we're going to call finish and there we go. Now if we didn't have any problems with this and no exceptions were triggered, the next thing we only basically know that everything's working out fine so we need to initialize the relative layout inside of activity hello pen. So we're going to go relative layout and call this S Pen view layout equal to and of course it's a relative layout there we go and then find view by ID and we're going to call it R dot ID dot S Pen view layout and there we go then we need to create our drawing surface on our device just like I showed in that little diagram a little bit ago so we're gonna go S Pen surface view is equal to new S Pen surface view and to create this we have to pass in our context so there it is then we need to check if the S Pen surface was created and if not display a toast error message so we're gonna go if this this guy right here paste that in there check if it was null and if so we're going to make another toast and display another error message inside of there and pass in our context again and then our message cannot create new s pen view and then finally how long is it going to display on the screen and i'm just going to copy this as well and show as well boink and there we go and then after we display that toast we can in free memory shut everything down with finish again all right so if we didn't get into that 
situation, however, we're going to need to insert the drawing surface into our relative layout. So we're going to go S Pen, View Layout, and Add a View. And that view is going to be S Pen, Surface View. And then we're going to call display and display is basically going to provide information on the display in regards to size, density, orientation, refresh rates, and so forth and so on. Call that display is equal to, and to get this we're just going to call get window manager and then call get default display. And then we're going to need to create a rec, which is basically going to hold the integer coordinates for our rectangle. Call this rect is equal to new rect and then call display, get rect size, and pass in rect. And then we're going to need to create an S Pen note doc, which has the potential of triggering another exception. And we're going to create this by passing in a context as well as the width and the height. So we're going to go MS Pen note doc is equal to new S Pen note doc. And like I said before, we're going to pass in our context as well as our width and our height and we get that from this rect. Now of course we could get ourselves some errors here and we're gonna need to catch them. So IO exception, in that situation we're gonna print out another toast. I'm just gonna copy this and save it here so that I'll be able to use it over and over and over again. Paste that in there, pass the context, and I'm gonna say cannot create note doc and everything else here is fine. And then scroll back up here again, Turn out an error message so that we can track it. And then of course we'll clear up our memory, close our application. Otherwise, get a general exception here, paste that in there. And in this situation, we're just going to call this exception. And rather than printing anything out, we'll get rid of that. And we'll just print out a message for us as developers. Okay, so if we didn't get an exception there, what that means, we need to add our page to our document. So we're just gonna go MS Pen page doc and call M S Pen note doc, which is gonna hold all our pages and call append page with capital P. Then in this situation, we decided to change our background color. To do that, we're just gonna call S Pen page doc, set background color, and here is that funky color. We can call on the page doc clear history, which is going to clear the undo and redo history, but the page is going to store it. And then we're gonna call the S Pen surface view and call set page doc and pass in the page doc and then we're going to pass in true as well in this situation because we want to update the screen that's what that is for if it's false it's not going to update it then what we need to do is check if the s pen is available or not see like i said actually creating everything so that we are able to draw is pretty much handled for us by the sdk what we have to make sure is the SDK has all the tools that it requires to be able to properly function. So a lot of this stuff you just do over and over again. So then we're going to call the S Pen Surface View and call Set Tool to recognize the finger as the drawing implement. And to do that we go S Pen Surface View dot and then we define the finger as the tool that is going to be using it. And then we define the type of action. And like I said before, we could do things like define the eraser as the tool that's going to be used. But in this situation, this is just going to be using a simple stroke. And to do that, we call action stroke, right like that. And then since we're not using the S Pen in this situation, we're going to print out another toast that's basically going to say, hey, the device you're using here doesn't support the use of S Pen, so why don't you use your finger instead? Which kind of sounds a little bit funny. All right, device does not support S Pen. You can draw the stroke with a finger. I changed the English there a little bit. And everything else is going to remain the same. It's going to show up on the screen for a short period of time, and then show is going to be called, which is going to display the toast on the screen. Okay, so this video is getting a little bit long, so what I'm going to do is cut it off right here, and in the next part of the video tutorial, I'll finish all of the code to create our S Pen app. Please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.